For Alexander Tereshchenko, this icon of Jesus is precious. In 2014, he went to the front line in eastern Ukraine as a volunteer fighter. Among the belongings he packed was the relic. That year, on October the 15th, his life would be changed forever. This icon was with me when the explosion happened. I saw there was a grenade near the column without a pin. My first inclination was to toss it away. I grabbed it and tried to throw it, but it was a little late. The grenade exploded in my hands. This is how Alexander Tereshchenko saved several men in the battle for Donetsk International Airport, which lasted for 242 days. The outnumbered and outgunned Ukrainians who defended the complex were labeled as cyborgs for their superhuman resistance against Russian-led forces. Alexander downplays his cyborg status despite receiving an eye trauma and losing his right arm and left hand, all while trying to save others. When I phoned him after the explosion, he told me some jokes first off. He then said, must have been the effect of the anesthesia. Even being in the hospital with such serious wound, the first thing he said after hello was a joke. Alexander Tereshchenko, who turned 48 in an ophthalmology center, received a lot of presents from children. This white angel was presented to me at the ophthalmology hospital in the city of Dnipro. There was also a boy who was about 12 years old. He was going to buy a laptop. When he watched a report about me, he gave me about $20. He said to his grandmother, this is for Uncle Sasha's prosthetics. I had tears in my eyes. After intense rehabilitation, Alexander was offered the position of deputy head of Kiev's Patrol Police Academy. He quickly earned huge respect among the cadets. When they were graduating, I told them, God forbid if I find out that some of you have taken bribes, you will see me with my hook in your nightmares. This year, Alexander became the Deputy Minister of Veterans Affairs. He's responsible, among other things, for programs that commemorate fallen Ukrainian soldiers. Alexander says that the ministry is now working on the formation of new burial customs. When I look at the Arlington Cemetery in the United States, I feel that my heart trembles. I understand that it is about respect to those people who had a purpose in life. Those soldiers have to be honored. This is why we must introduce such things. About 13,000 people, both military and civilian, have been killed in Donbass since Russia's war began in April 2014. I want the war to end as soon as possible, but only after our victory. Having suffered these losses, we have no right to retreat so that these territories become a certain enclave, a state in the state. I'm not ready for this. Alexander is a role model for other war veterans with physical and psychological disabilities. He never lost hope and faith and to this day keeps the icon of Jesus at his side. Natalia Chikotun, Andriy Tolerenko, UATV.